Let's hear from Bob Carr. I think we've got to see this as a, um, a dynastic celebration. A family holds the throne. They're proud of it. There's a line of succession that goes back to 1713. Not one of them wants to be the first on duty who sees a threat to that family hold on the throne. This is a dynastic celebration. It's a wonderful bit of dynastic propaganda. And when, when, a, when a royal comes to Australia, he or she is performing duty for the family, and that is to maintain support for this institution. Now, I'm quite fond of this family, and constitutional monarchies aren't bad ways of running countries. But we've got to understand the power plays behind the promotion of this whole package. A dynasty is in power, it's power worth having, as they see it, and they don't want to be the first in the family line to lose it. It's understandable. Angela? I see that as a bit too cynical. I think that when they come to the country, they see places where they can do genuine good. And I think they do achieve that. And I think Prince William achieved that on this recent visit. I covered Princess Diana's tour in 1996. Wherever she went, I was. I saw the effect she had on people when she spoke to them. I saw the effect she had on the places she visited. <coughs> the Royal Rehabilitation Centre in Ryde, for instance, she visited because her former equerry son had become a quadriplegic when a rugby scrum collapsed. This place had had no funding interest coming from either state or federal governments in years. When she visited, a whole lot of attention went on to the place. Funding came in. The people that are there now, some of them have been residents for up to 50 years, still have the photo of the day they met her up on their wall and it <coughs> inspires them to keep going every single day. These people do good. To say it's just a marketing exercise to keep the dynasty going, I think is too cynical. And I think they can do good that no other celebrity can. I, I, uh, I think their motivation is fine, but I think to overlook the power relationships in this is naive. I give them credit for the, the commitment to public service. The, the reason this dynasty has survived, the reason it is, has survived stretches where Republican sentiment has risen in this country and elsewhere in the Commonwealth, is the Queen's commitment to public duty. And the documentary captured the fact that all, all the, I mean there's unanimity, that that is an inspiration to everyone. But I, I question the Republican hope that with her passing, there'll be a shift in opinion in Australia. I think that's been expressed so often, it's now beginning to grate a bit and it deserves more examination. I think, I think Charles's succession to the throne will probably, probably lead to a, a surge of additional dynastic fervour and attachment. I think the Republican job will continue to be hard in Australia.